Hey. What? Who's heard Hunwick's A? Who's Hunwick's A? I read it yesterday. No. You read it? Yes. Oh, I probably I need to it. read it to y'all. Have I ever read it to you? No. No. Oops. No. Well, I need to read you that book. I like that book. Okay, bye-bye. Go read it. Yeah. All right, so Hunwick's A. This is what I was asking the kids about at the table, seeing what they thought. You'll see here in a minute when I read it to them what a couple of my thought. To me, it's a little bit esoteric, but I like it quite a bit. I think the artwork's very good. I'm not a big fan of colored pencils, but you mix a whole lot of grit in there with the pencils and the cool colors. Kind of contrast the old desert thing. I like it. Unfortunately, I don't know that this book is produced anymore, but thankfully, you can still jump on Amazon, go ahead and get it. It's like six bucks, including shipping. I think it's worth it. A lot of fun, maybe three to eight years old or so. But anyway, you're going to see me reading it now to a couple of them. Cash won't be there with us, but I hope you enjoy. Foxes, Hunwick's A. Can I say it? Illustrated by <laughs> Pamela Lofts. <laughs> All right. Once upon a time, In the, the sweet at the edge of a wide and dusty desert, there lived an old bandicoot. Ah, bandicoot. His name was... Weasel Peasel. Uh, no, it's a weasel. That's a, that's a good name, but no. It's a weasel. It was Hunwick. It's a weasel. It's a weasel, not Hunwick. No, it's a bandicoot. See? No, that's, a... no, she said that in the book. It's bandicoot. 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 His name was Hunwick. One morning, Hunwick sat up and sniffed the wind. A storm was on its way, and when it broke, what a storm it was. The world was tossed inside out and upside down. In the evening, when the skies had cleared, there lay, close to Hunwick's burrow, a most curious egg. You look lost, said Hunwick. Hunwick called on his neighbors. Who, uh, whose egg might this be? He asked. None of them knew. I have never seen an egg that's so beautiful said Emu. It, uh, it must come from a far away, said Echidna. Huh? It needs a home, said Cockatoo. Then I will give it one, said Hunwick. And he took the egg back to his burrow and bustled about, making things cozy. You'll be safe with me, Hunwick said. No, he's not. His heart felt like he was already fond of the egg and wondered what would happen when it hatched. It's frothy, won't Each evening before he went out to find food, Hunwick covered the egg with twigs. As he smiled and said, Now, do behave while I'm away. And then he waved goodbye, although the egg never waved back. Except with his branches. Neither did it hatch. It grew. One night, when the stars were coming out in twos and threes, Hunwick was brave enough to speak his mind. I'm glad I found you, he mm -hmm. said, not looking directly at the egg. The egg made no reply. Neither did it hatch. Hunwick and the egg often sat side by side in the moonlight. Hunwick would tell stories from his past, exaggerating here and there from time to time. He also shared his troubles. The egg listened in respectful silence, but did not say a word. He lost his eyes. <laughs> Neither did it hatch. At bedtime, 
Hunwick would hold the egg close. We're together, you and I, he'd say, and this is our home. The egg was a good friend to Hunwick. It listened well, and it was always there. But Hunwick's neighbors watched and worried and wondered. That egg, said Emu, will it ever hatch? Not now, said Echidna. Not ever, said Cockatoo. Poor Homewood, they said together. But Hunwick wasn't sad. He had guessed all along before that the egg was not an egg at all but a stone, a perfect shape and size and color. I don't mind, he said to himself. I love it as it is. And he continued to love it with all his heart. Really? It was his egg, his secret. It's not his egg, it's a rock. And it remained his friend forever. And it never had... The end. That was like the weirdest story. What did you think, Bo? Good. That's yeah. your puzzle, too. Hey. A big ball on your Hey, puzzle. belly bear. What? You... What? What did you think of Hunwick's egg? Boy. <laughs> Chin <laughs> about. What did you think, Bubba? Good. Okay. Big boy. But I don't know why it's in a hatch. Because it's a stone. A boring old stone. You can stop it. Because <laughs> it's a boring old stone.